the headlines, of course, that say it all. The front pages in England, never in doubt. The history boys, the hand of George, after uh, Jordan Pickford's heroics in the penalty shootout win against Colombia. Mm. And it has led to this, gents, which is what I want to talk about. Odds to win the 2018 World Cup. Now have Brazil. They've always been the favourites, haven't they, all along? Now then... England have joined France. These are according to UK odds makers at four to one to win it all ahead of Belgium, ahead of Croatia, ahead of Uruguay, Russia and Sweden are the uh, rank outsiders according to these odds makers. Uh, so, whoa boy. <laughs> whoa, yeah. What was once hope, I think, <laughs> for England heading into a tournament has now become something a little different. Yeah. Expectation is... Yeah, I think most England fans, when you look we keep going on about this, that the, the, this side of the bracket all the time, or this side of the group stage, um, they feel that they should beat Sweden. If they do beat Sweden, they've got a really tough game, in it, probably in Croatia if they beat Russia, because Croatia have, have played well in this tournament. They weren't as impressive last game, but they were, they've been impressive throughout the tournament. So it's not, it's not a walk in the park, by all means, and then they're still going to have to meet one of, the, one of the better teams on the other side eventually. Um, so, like I suggested, they need to... It's, it's brilliant where England are, and it's fantastic the fact that they could beat Colombia, Sweden and Croatia and reach a World Cup final and never have it as easy as this, I think, um, in the future. But they've still got a long way to go, and they have to play better than they did yesterday. Steve, I know you haven't had a chance mm. to weigh in yet on mm. England's performance. For what you've seen from them in the group and against Colombia yesterday, what justifies that 4-1 that to one odds that you were seeing? Only because of the, the, the bracket they're in. You know, it, they, yeah. They've played well enough to get where they are. They haven't been scintillating, but considering when the, when the tournament started, nothing was expected, then obviously, you know, the, the expectations beginning to rise, but you just got to calm down a little bit. The fact is, they've actually lost the game already mm -hmm. to Belgium. You could argue it was the reserve sides, and, and they've beaten Tunisia and Panama. I mean, really, that, that, that should have been a given anyway. And Colombia without the star man. So, you know, they haven't exactly torn apart the best, the best opposition in this tournament. Mm. So I think we should just cool the Jets a little. They've done well, they've done enough, but that's all they've done so far. People getting carried away, Craig, in uh, your mind? No, I mean, it's un I think it's understandable. Mm. Pundits are getting carried away, some of them. Supporters, certainly, some of the journalists. But it's almost like... And I, I, I totally understand that. I, I, it, it, like, you've had the Iceland result. Yep. Which was a disaster in, in the Euros. You had bottom of the group in Brazil, World Cup, which just isn't good enough from an England perspective. So I can understand it. But the, the upside is I think England can play better mm. than what we've seen. Although Harry Kane's got a heart full of goals, most of them from penalties, there's still more to come from this England team. Mm. So I, if I, I would be pretty positive about it. But well, they should be. And they're playing Sweden, by the way. You know, it's, yeah. it, it, they're not playing a team that are going to out... Yeah. Outplay them. The not only way England France, lose not this. Playing Brazil, they're not playing Belgium. No. no they're playing Sweden. Yeah. The, yeah. the only way they lose this is if they get bullied. Because mm. if, if they don't get bullied, they'll win this game because they're better than Sweden. I actually thought they would come a cropper to Colombia. Uh, <clears throat> we did all these predictors, 300 yeah. of them. I, I, I had a 1 0 win just because I thought South Americans, tough, gritty, all the tricks with a little bit of flair, and England's recent. A knockout stage results hadn't been great. I mean, it, al it almost went that way. But now they're over that, now they've got the penalty thing out of the way as well, I think they'll beat Sweden. Mm -hmm. I, I really think it's going to take a bad England performance yeah. or some disastrous individual mistakes not to get to a semi-final. Gab Marcotti is with us too from Moscow. Gab, uh, give us uh, your latest assessment on England, whether you think those odds are fair and, uh, and how you think they're going to get on against Sweden. Well, I mean, look, I think the odds are what they are because of the draw, as you guys mentioned, right? Uh, I think there's probably three teams that on paper are, are probably better than England, and they all happen to be on the other side of the draw, and it's Brazil, Belgium, and France. So because of that, the run to the final seems clear. Um, we've seen this so many times before, people getting overexcited and people making a big deal out of the penalties and the psychological block, but you know, you know what? Uh, most of these guys haven't lost on penalties before in a major tournament, so uh, I don't even know how much of a block it was for them. I think, well, you take the positives, and one was they were generally unflappable. I thought they were mentally very strong 
in a game that could have boiled over over Colombia. They showed toughness. They, 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 they got the better of a, of a different type of opponent from the one that's, that they faced before and, and onwards and upwards. But having watched a, a lot of Sweden in this tournament, I agree. They're not particularly good. They got through on a deflected goal. They, they even qualified for the World Cup, as I as an Italian uh, sadly know, because of a deflected goal. But I'll tell you what, they're organized, they're disciplined, they are big, they never give up. And uh, as you guys were saying, you really don't want to underestimate Sweden or, or, or look past them and think that you're, you're already in the semifinal. That would be a really big mistake.